Hi, I'm Josh Bloom. Welcome to another video in the RSP Supply Education Series. If you find that these videos are helpful to you, it certainly helps us out if you give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the various different kinds of hardware that you will use in different industrial applications. These applications can range from building an industrial control panel, installing electrical conduit, or installing instrumentation, as well as various other scenarios you may encounter. More specifically, we want to discuss some of the things you need to consider when making your hardware selections, which can hopefully make the process a bit easier for you. First off, when talking about hardware that is designed for industrial applications, what does that actually mean? Let me give you an example of this so that you might better understand. Let's look at the different types of electrical conduit you can use. Two of the most common types of conduit are EMT and rigid. Let's look at each of these to see if we can determine which would be better for an industrial application and why. First, let's look at rigid conduit. As you can see here, we have very thick walls. It's going to be pretty heavy. It's going to be harder to work with for sure. Going to be more resistant to bending or breaking. Uh, and it can also be very resistant to harsh temperatures, dust, and moisture. Now let's look at the EMT. The EMT is going to be a much lighter weight material, which makes it more susceptible to bending or breaking. However, it is much easier to work with due to the thinner walls relative to the rigid conduit. It's going to be okay, but not great in protecting against harsh temperatures, dust, and moisture. So out of these two, which is better for industrial applications? As you could probably see, rigid conduit because of the characteristics that we just discussed, such as being more heavy duty and more resistant to breaking, which provides more durability and longevity. So when we refer to hardware as being designed for industrial situations, these are some of the things that we are talking about. With electrical components, this would refer to them as being more resistant to harsh temperatures or dust and moisture, which will allow them to last much longer than standard electrical components. It is not always clear when making hardware selections if what you are looking at is intended for the situation you plan to use it in. A good practice is to always check the hardware specifications of whatever piece of hardware you are planning to use. In these specifications, you will be able to find most of the information you need to determine if, is, if it is in fact suited for industrial applications. Next, we will look at several other things that you should consider when selecting your industrial hardware, but we will save that for our next video. For a full line of industrial control hardware and thousands of other products, please go to our website. For more information or other educational videos, go to rspsupply.com, the internet's top source for industrial hardware. Also, don't forget, like and subscribe.